okay, you've got a regular gun, you've got a taser, now we've got a beanbag gun. How do you decipher what to use when? All Rochester police officers will soon have beanbag firing shotguns in their patrol cars. It sounds odd, but these guns have been used for years. The intention is to de-escalate situations that could otherwise turn deadly. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey talked with Rochester police about how and when they're used. Jen? Yeah, Brett Deanna, as part of the new Rochester City budget, which is actually being voted on in about an hour or so, RPD is set to get funding to outfit every patrol car with a standard shotgun that fires beanbag rounds. They'll keep it in the trunk of the car separate from the regular shotguns they carry with live ammunition. Your hands out your pocket. Body-worn cameras have given us all a look at the interactions between police and members of our community. And one thing is clear. Many of them involve highly emotional circumstances with people who may be dealing with mental health issues. As we move through a lot more of dealing with different calls that are out there and different mental health crises and things along those lines, really the importance of less lethal tools. This is one of those tools. It's a standard shotgun, but it fires bean bags. This would be what the round looks like. Mm -hmm. And then this is what gets fired out of the round. An RPD firearms instructor fired off a few rounds today to give us a sense. And you can see the bean bags clearly still pack a punch. It's got a bigger distance than a taser. Tasers are typically good up to about 21 feet give or take, where this is something that's good out to 75 feet, out to 25 yards. And we've used them a few times recently where they've really helped to de-escalate a situation uh, and prevent it from escalating into a deadly physical force situation. For example. It was a domestic situation where uh, he was threatening his a female with a knife. We were able to safely get her out of the house and it turned into kind of a standoff with him. Uh, he was in the house, we were at the doorway of the house, and uh, eventually he grabbed two knives and was making motions towards us uh, to come towards us with those knives. Uh, the beanbag gun was effective uh, in getting him to drop the knives and then comply with us because it, it's, a, it's a painful experience uh, to get shot with, with the beanbag round. Okay, you've got a regular gun, you've got a taser, now we've got a beanbag gun. How do you decipher what to use when? So a great example would be uh, somebody with some sort of deadly weapon but not necessarily a gun. Where a beanbag gun would be good with somebody with, with a knife, some sort of edged weapon, a, a knife, a sword. Uh, we've had instances with uh, blunt objects like pipes, baseball bats, things along those lines that could, that could very easily create serious injury to somebody or even death, uh, but not a firearm you know, in terms of a projectile type situation. Most of the time, a beanbag gun is used when officers have time to assess a situation. It's not something that one officer would pull out and used by themselves. Uh, an operational plan would be put in place. There would be a team of officers. Including officers prepared with deadly force if the beanbags don't work. RPD tells me they typically use a beanbag gun maybe a dozen times a year, but having them in every car may give them the opportunity to use them more often. They no longer will need to wait for a car that has one or pass off keys during an ongoing situation to an officer who can go and get one. Deanna. Jennifer, thank you.